What tests does a Fusion Solar Smart PV controller need to pass before delivery? Welcome to Fusion Solar's Global Compliance and Testing Center, GCTC. Challenge 1. Wind-Driven Rain Test. Outdoor PV devices running for extended periods in harsh weather conditions, such as typhoons and rainstorms, pose safety risks. The inverter is placed in the industry's first open test chamber for wind-driven rain tests. Fans are at the rear of the chamber and water sprinklers are placed in front of the fans. Place the inverter in the test chamber, open its cover, and place the test paper. After the inverter is powered on, the test checks its four exposed surfaces for 30 minutes. Open the cover to check that the test paper has not changed. This means that the device can withstand wind and rain. Challenge 2. Temperature Cycling Test To verify the performance of the inverter in different climates and temperatures, Fusion Solar Inverters need to undergo the Temperature Cycling Test, which does 1500 cycles at minus 40 degrees Celsius to 70 degrees Celsius. This is to make sure that the device can run properly in harsh weather conditions. Challenge 3. Salt Spray Test the salt spray test verifies the anti-corrosion capability of components in oceanic climates. It ensures the anti-corrosion performance and long service life of the device. Place the device in a test chamber with a temperature ranging from 25 degrees Celsius to 55 degrees Celsius. Set the humidity to 90% and release 5% salt fog. The device's appearance remains unchanged after 30 days. Currently, Fusion Solar Inverters are used in offshore and coastal PV plants in Singapore, Japan, and Australia. Challenge 4. Dust Test The dust test checks the sealing performance of the inverter. It reduces the risk of component failures caused by dust entry when the device is running. Place the inverter in a test chamber with a mesh separator. Let dust fall onto the inverter. Generate negative pressure to make it easier for the dust to enter. After two hours, open the cover. You can see that there is no dust inside the inverter. Therefore, fusion solar inverters can be used in desert PV plants, such as those in China's Kupuchi, Inner Mongolia, and Qinghai. Challenge 5. Noise Test Let the inverter run in the quietest place in the world. Microphones are placed in nine directions around the device to collect noise data when the device is working to optimize component layout. This ensures that the inverter does not generate noise that affects production and day-to-day -day life during operation. Challenge 6. Drop Test This test simulates the shock experienced from being dropped during transportation. It helps identify failure risks during product delivery and operation, such as enclosure cracks, loose components, and terminal abrasion. In this way, the internal design can be optimized and internal and external components strengthened. Challenge 7. Explosion Test It tests the inverter stability in extreme outdoor conditions to verify that the device does not explode, catch fire, or cause personal injury in such extreme cases. Challenge 8. Lightning Test this test uses rocket-triggered lightning to verify the inverter's surge protection capability. Challenge 9. Ice Test Place the powered-on inverter in the test chamber to test the device's resistance to extreme cold. After startup, decrease the temperature to minus 40 degrees Celsius and spray water onto the inverter. After an hour, the device is covered in a thick layer of ice. The inverter is still stable. In addition to the preceding test items, the GCTC also supports the EMC test, burn-in test, and static pressure and vibration test. These rigorous tests are specially designed for the extreme conditions that a fusion solar inverter may encounter to ensure high product quality. That's why the fusion solar solutions are used all over the world. Looking ahead, Fusion Solar will continue providing customers and partners with an ever-improving experience for a better, greener future.